Hello everyone, so we are back with another All About You and yeah. we're beginning a new month this mm -hmm. week, right? I couldn't wait. Yeah, and it's <laughs> December. December is so special. This is the month where we have lots of holiday, lots of relaxed time, relaxing time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But we also see that December is a month where many get into debt. That's true. <laughs> they get themselves into trouble <laughs> because there's so much going on in that month. There's so much spending and many people are not able to contain their spending and they mm -hmm. end up in debt. Mm -hmm. And as we are now starting the month of December, many people are making plans, right? Yes. Plans that sometimes they have been doing throughout the year and they keep like that. No, we have been saving money. So now we can either pay this debt so we can buy this car that we need so much. But when holidays come, what usually happens? Uh -huh. They lose focus and they spend that money in something else. Yeah. And what leads people to spend? What makes people spend such a lot of money in December? Well, we're going to go to a video we're gonna go to people on the streets of london and they're gonna tell us what they normally spend on in december let's have a look actually we're not in london we're at alton at the lovely alton towers resort it's absolutely fab and all holiday-ish out here but i've got a couple of ladies that i'm gonna ask some questions about why they like to go on holiday and what makes it so lovely so why do you like to go on holiday I love to go on holidays because I like to travel to different countries and when I travel I get a new experience. I love to know more about the culture of the country, the history of the country, so it's a learning experience for me to network and interact with other people. So I love going to the Caribbean islands, different parts of China, that was a different experience for me, even to India and different parts of Africa, so I just love traveling when I have the opportunity and the finances. I like to go on holiday because I like to learn different languages, uh, Spanish or sometimes Chinese. I like also to go on holiday because I like to um, eat different foods, it shows different culture, so yeah, that's why I, I, I like to go on holidays. Um, I like to spend time with my family, like have barbecues, cook different foods, just have like quality time together. Yeah, that's what I like to do, get to know different experiences that they are going through that you know, we don't speak every day, so yeah. So you mentioned barbecue, so what's the best part about the barbecue for you during the holiday season? I like the traditional foods like the chicken, the sausages and stuff like that. It's just nice. <laughs> yeah. For me, the best part about the holiday season is definitely traveling. Um, I love to go and see different environments and experience new experiences that, that I wouldn't really typically experience in England even though there's lots of things to do even in England but like going to a different country shopping going to restaurants learning about the culture getting to know new people is really a nice thing that I love to do so you mentioned the variety of things that you do when you travel so what would be the best thing for you then for me the best thing is to shop in because you get to go and go to shops that maybe they have in England or they don't have in England. Like I've been to a few countries where I've been to this particular shop where they sell bags and shoes and things that they don't sell here and I really love it, so yeah. Great, well there you have it. Let's go back to the studio to see what you think about the holiday season. So we see that our public spends a lot on many things, right? They, mm -hmm. they have many things to spend on. But Hakel, what is it that could make a person um, go into that? What is it that normally makes people overspend? You know, one of the first things I, I can think of, especially women, mm -hmm. we have the tendency to compare ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So usually when you see your friend saying that she traveled to America <laughs> and you were planning to travel to Bournemouth, yeah. <laughs> You kind of think <laughs> like, this is not a good holiday. <laughs> you change your I have quickly. to do something else. Look at her. She, she traveled far. She went to America and she said she, she um, visited her friends in California. And how am I going to say that I went to Bournemouth? Yeah. That I went to, I don't know, to Oxford? To, 
yeah. somewhere nearby. So that's not a good holiday. So yeah. they compare themselves, their holidays with other people's holidays yeah. and they start thinking, you know, what I'm spending here is not enough. I have to do something else. So they kind of think that, uh, no, I have to outdo my friend and they end up uh, spend, be going over budget because mm -hmm. they had not planned to have that extravagant holiday mm -hmm. and they end up um, overspending. And one of the other things that we see, Hakel, is this fixed mind that a person has that their holiday has to go a certain way uh -huh. so you know what it's december it's christmas time i have to give gifts to my family yeah because if i don't give gifts or ex at least expensive gifts if i don't give certain kinds of gifts mm -hmm. then i'm not able to meet what my what my, fa my, my family's needs mm -hmm. so this person has this fixed idea mm -hmm. of how their holidays should be and mm -hmm. i think if people were more open-minded and they were able to to kind of change their ideas according to how they can afford mm -hmm. or what they can afford then yeah. they wouldn't overspend right i think this is a, a tradition right a tradition that you have to um you have to give gifts what is christmas without you giving gifts mm -hmm. it's not christmas it's not holiday so people tend to spend what they have saved sometimes to pay off a debt, mm -hmm. maybe to buy that car that they needed so much, mm -hmm. and they end up spending on presents that later on is not gonna make any difference in their lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's gonna make maybe their friends a bit happier, but the plan that you had throughout the year, you could not conquer because you end up spending on little things and you don't even know. Sometimes you saved so long mm -hmm. and at the end, oh my God, where all the money went to, you don't even know. Right? Yeah. So during this month, we're going to be giving our viewers tips on how they can spend less but still enjoy their holidays, right? Because this idea that we have to spend a lot in order to enjoy our holidays, we're going to be proving to you throughout this month that you don't need to spend a lot in order mm -hmm. to enjoy your holidays. And one of the things that we see people spending a lot on is traveling, That's right? True. People um, spend a lot of money on plane tickets, like you said, going far away to America, going to Australia, because I agree, it is fun, it's nice, mm -hmm. you can enjoy it, but if you can afford it, if you haven't spent time saving for it, mm -hmm. then don't go into that traveling far away and two weeks later you've come back and you've forgotten all about the experience or a year later you've forgotten about the experience but you're still paying for it in debt, right? Mm -hmm. Why not make the most of what you have in your country? Because, you know, your country, I'm sure has a lot of attractions mm -hmm. that you have never seen, that you don't know, you haven't uh, taken advantage of, mm -hmm. that you could take advantage of, right? That's true. And Hakel and I have an idea of how you can save during the holidays, right Hakel? That's true. We went to a trip, we enjoyed ourselves and we didn't spend much money. We'd like to share this with you. Take a look. Hi everyone, so as promised, we're here to give you a tip and we're at Alton Towers Water Park and we see that many times people travel because they want to have a different environment, a different setting, but you can make the most of your country without having to travel. At the water park, unfortunately, we can't film inside, but we feel like we're in Africa. The way that it's decorated feels like, a, like an African safari, right? So maybe you go looking for adventures very far away when you have adventures that are cheaper that you can take advantage of at home, right Raquel? That's true, as you're speaking, we are still um, in the UK. Mm -hmm. It's cold outside, but we are going to a water park. So in other words, we don't need to go to Caribbean, sometimes spend thousands of pounds just to enjoy a swimming pool and you enjoy your friends. So we are here, still in the UK, and we don't need to spend much, right? We can still enjoy a warm environment right here in the middle of winter in the UK. So why not do the same? Actually, we're gonna go and get to enjoy ourselves. So see you later. <laughs> that was such a lot of fun, okay, I want to go back. <laughs> we enjoyed ourselves, See, right? You, who says you need to spend a lot of money in uh -huh. order to have fun, right? Good company is certainly one of the tips. If you want to enjoy yourself during your holidays, make sure that you hang around. Good company. <laughs> <laughs> and but, I think, yeah, what, sorry, but a good tip for those who are watching us today mm -hmm. is for you not to be impulsive. 
Right. When a person is impulsive, she doesn't plan herself, she doesn't think ahead, right? Yeah. That's when many people end up, as we were speaking in the beginning of the program, they end up into debt, they, yeah. they end up um, losing the money that they, they, have, they were saving in the wrong way. Yeah. So I think that we should plan ahead, that's yeah. the key word. Definitely never spend money that you don't have, right? Uh -huh. If you don't have it in your pocket, do not spend it. So if you are someone who absolutely enjoys elaborate um, holidays, days you have to travel well plan ahead like you said and sp and save rather than spend on debt right mm -hmm. so make sure that you save ahead of time during the year you know already that december you want to go somewhere extravagant so keep money aside every month and if you haven't acquired enough money then do not go somewhere where you can afford to go. Mm -hmm. Always spend what you have, never spend what you don't have. I mean, emergencies maybe, but if, if for, for things like holidays, that would be an unnecessary, um, an unnecessary burden yeah. that you place on yourself financially. And we see that that burden carries out through the year. So the quality of your life gets affected throughout the year. Not, I mean, not, not only in terms of what you can afford, but that places a lot of stress mm -hmm. on people. We see that many marriages, they break up because of that. Many, many mothers become impatient with their children. You know, it affects the quality of your life all around mm -hmm. throughout the year. So is it really worth it to have to have that expensive holiday and have the rest of the year all spoiled up That's I don't think true. it's worth it I right so. so be wise and don't spend what you don't have and mm -hmm. we've come to the end of our program it, it always goes so quickly <laughs> but and we are just starting <laughs> yeah we're just starting and we'll be back next week with one more tip and one more advice of what you can do to spend less see you next week bye bye